the classic London black cab. It's probably one of the most iconic vehicles in the world and it's been ferrying passengers around London's capital since the early half of the last century. But it's now time for the historical relic to become a symbol of the future. Say hello then to the TX, built in England by the London Electric Vehicle Company. Now, as you may have guessed from the rather obvious company name, the TX is an electrically driven cab capable of journeying through London with zero emissions. Now, that's pretty important for a city that's already struggling with pollution. It comes with other modern features too, like plugs for laptops and phones, Wi-Fi, and a built-in ramp for disabled access. In short, it's a modern car built for the modern city. But the only way for me to get to grips with the TX is to hit the road and pick up my first ever passenger. I have been driven all over London in these things for years, but it's the first time that I've actually ever driven one. And I've got to say it is pretty exciting. It feels a bit of a, a bit of a rite of passage in becoming a real Londoner. And that's despite me having actually lived in the city for over eight years. All I need now is to get my first passenger. Here he goes, first ever passenger. Where to? Uh, Windsor, please. Hop in. Thank you. Okay, Windsor. Is that Windsor as in castle? Uh, yeah, that Windsor. What okay. other Windsors are there? Um, I don't know, I'm just checking. Um, so that's sort of like west, I guess. Don't you know where you're going? Uh, no, 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 I do, I do, I do. I just need to um, pop it in the, the old sat-nav. Yeah, sorry. I'm just in a bit of a hurry. I've got a meeting there and they do not like to be kept waiting. Okay, no problem. Cool. The route is being calculated. Now I have driven various electric cars before, the, um, the Tesla Model S for example with its absolutely ludicrous acceleration. Now this TX is a bit more subtle, let's say. I mean I'm not going to be smoking anyone off the line at the lights with this, but that slower, smoother acceleration it's got does give a much more comfortable drive, particularly for the people sitting in the back which would allow them to get on with some work if they needed to. There's, uh, you've got power points back there, by the way, if you need to plug your laptop in. And um, there's the Wi-Fi code, I think, should be just up on the left here, if you want to jump on the Wi-Fi. Okay, thanks. Good, right? You've got a whole little office going on back there. I think that's impressive. That steady acceleration does make it not only comfortable to be in, but it makes it very comfortable to drive, um, as does sort of the very lightweight, easy handling. Because um, of course, this cab has the same famous tight turning circle of all the black cabs, so you can get around those tiny roundabouts or do a sudden U-turn in the road. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, wrong road. So did you know that this cab is electric and so this is probably the greenest trip you've ever done to Windsor? Uh, yeah. Did you also know that London's cabs have been on the road? Um, I'm really sorry, I've just got a lot of work to do so if you don't mind, just... Uh, probably going to work on my cab driver banter. You see the game last night? What game? The uh, sports ball game, the... Now I know I said this is an electric car, but strictly speaking it is a bit more of a hybrid because there is a petrol engine under the hood. 
but that doesn't drive the car. What it actually does is act as a generator, giving a bit more juice back to the batteries. So this can do about 80 miles on electric alone or 400 miles when it uses that extra power from the engine. What it does mean though is that if I want to do this whole journey on electricity alone, I will need to pull over and give the batteries a bit of a charge. Uh, sorry, but I'm just going to have to pause for a moment and give the batteries a bit of a charge. Are you serious? Yeah, I won't take a tick. Well, how long? Uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail. It's about vague enough. Okay, so it's actually going to take about 20 minutes to refill the batteries to about 80%, which isn't all that long, but I'm not going to tell her that because I'm pretty sure she's going to kill me. Um, so instead, I'm going to spend the time and go get a brew. Yeah, sorry, I'm on my way, but the cabbie, uh, the cabbie's just stopped to recharge his car or something. No idea, he said something about two shakes of a lamb's tail, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Hello, I'm back. Told you it wouldn't take long. What are you talking about? It's been ages. I need to be there now. It's not easy being green. In order to become a proper licensed London cabbie, you've got to do a test called the Knowledge. Now that is the most difficult driving test in the entire world and demands that every single driver learn around 25,000 roads in London, all from memory. Now, my memory is mostly full of cat pictures and cake recipes, so luckily I'm relying on the TX's built-in sat-nav, which is particularly handy because Windsor actually isn't anywhere where I thought it was and I would have taken my first ever passenger somewhere closer to Guildford. So we've got the castle just up on the right. Is this close enough? Yes. Finally. I guess I'll have to do. What's going on? Is it? No, can you just open the door, please? Uh, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 hang on. Try, try now? No, no, it's still not right. Oh. Well, that went well. Hang on, did she pay me? The thing to remember is that this isn't a proof of concept or some kind of trial. The TX is here to stay whether Londoners like it or not. New city rules state that from this year on, all new registered cabs must be capable of zero emission driving. Up to 300 new fast chargers are being installed across London too, to help the cabbies and of course other electric drivers recharge on the move. Now, I'm not here to review this cab. What would be the point? It's a service vehicle. It'd be like reviewing an ambulance. When you actually need one and one turns up, you're hardly going to turn it away because of fuel efficiency or comfort reasons. That said, this is a nice place to be as a driver. And of course, any step towards a lower carbon footprint in the city is a good thing to do. And it's good to see that they've remained true to the iconic design. I mean, sure, the back looks a bit more like a hearse and the logo on the front will trick you into thinking you're getting into a Bentley, but it's still unquestionably a classic black cab. And when the city eventually bans petrol cars altogether, and it will, it's great to know that these icons will still be around to get me home from the pub at four in the morning. Oh, I've taken the wrong f f turn. No, I haven't. Where is it taking? me. Oh god, I've gone the... It's taking me properly the wrong way here. <laughs> 